this figure you are seeing is a set of carpal bones of the right hand seen in a palm or view and that's how they are arranged in two rows so you are seeing is scaphoid, lunate, triquitral and over to that is pisiform then on the lateral side in the distal row you have is trapezium, trapezoid, capitate and hamate earlier if you remember I had already asked you one question that which is the largest carpal bone and answer was capitate it is the largest then it was also asked that which is the smallest carpal bone then answer was pc form then it was asked sometime that which is the second smallest carpal bone then the answer is trapezoid then the largest carpal bone in the proximal row is scaphoid so the capitate being the largest i told you that the reason for this is that it is first to appear since it's the first to appear and it continues ossification for a longer time it becomes the largest carpal bone so from capitate you can make an arc like this running anti-clockwise from capitate but remember this diagram is of right hand side seen in a palm of view now it will be easy for you to remember the ossification of all these carpal bones now with this image there is a mnemonic for you to learn it easy that starting with capitate which is the first to start ossify let's count it as 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 this is how you can remember these carpal bones which are arranged in two rows but the pisiform which is overriding the triquitral this is the last to appear and it appears at 12 years of life so the mnemonic is 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 and then the 12 means puberty so that was just a mnemonic to make you remember the order of appearance of these carpal bones and we talk about 555 five, five, then remember the order is anti-clockwise scaphoid appears before trapezium trapezium appears before trapezoid now talking about the individual and little more precise origin appearance of these carpal bones so the capitate it appears around two months of life after birth later on hamate appears a little after to the capitate and it appears at three months of life now you must be wondering why I have written as two years for hamate in the mnemonic. Just because hamate appears after capitate and there is no other bone appearing before three years. So in an x-ray of a one year and even a two year old child you will find only two carpal bones. Then triquitral appears at three years of life, lunate appears at fourth year of life scaphoid appears at fifth year of life trapezium appears at five to six years of life and trapezoid appears at five to seven years of life so you'll find a lot many variations among these ossification centers because the research work it keeps on going in different parts of the country in different regions of the world people come up with different data but the somewhat approximated data is this what I have taught you you can see here in the image itself they have written it as one year now one year doesn't mean that it's appearing at one year it means it's a first carpal bone which appears uh, within the first year then in Hamid also you see they have written as one year but it appears at three to four months then triquitral they have shown is that appears at three years of life lunate appears at four years of life scaphoid appears at fifth year of life trapezium appears at six means five to six years and trapezoid appears at six to seven means five to seven years is the range now after learning the mnemonic you can change hamate to one year that one two three four was to set a sequence of a mnemonic to make you learn otherwise it is one one three four five 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 some authors may have written it as five six seven even but to consider even five years as a range i mentioned it is five 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 because at the end of five years these seven carpal bones have been seen in an x-ray 
if I write 6 and 7 for trapezium and trapezoid, then you might miss the correct option in an MCQ or you might be confused. That's why I've written 5, 5, 5. So the pattern is 1, 1, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5. As you can see here that ossification of these carpal bones have been mentioned. Now this image is just for your reference to see the ossification of these carpal bones. One thing you should know that ossification of the carpal bones occurs in a predictable sequence starting with the capitate and ending with the pisiform. Now here you are seeing is an x-ray which normally is asked in your exams, especially in your FMT forensic exams to judge the age of a child by seeing an x-ray of the hand. So you can very easily see in this x-ray that two carpal bones seen here at the carpal region. One you can see is this one and other you are seeing is adjacent to this on the medial side right so only two bones can be seen here now if it is asked like what is the age of the child or let me create an mcq for you what is the age of this child is this less than one year is this more than one year is this more than two years is this more than three years? What will be your answer? From what I have taught you, you can easily guess the answer. The first carbon bone to appear is capitate and it was appearing at two months of life. Then the next was hamate and it was appearing at three months of life. With this, you conclude that this x-ray is more than three months but it will be less than three years why because the only guess you can make is the next one is the third bone that was appearing at three years and that was triquitral so there's no third carpal bone seen means it's less than three years it is more than three months less than three years so what will you mark in the answer now for that to assess the age one thing more i have to add that remember that the lower end of the radius there's a secondary ossification center the epiphysis at the lower end of the radius this appears at one year of life similarly the epiphysis for the lower end of the ulna this appears at five years of life now i hope you will be able to guess the answer because in this skygram you are seeing two carpal bones capitate and hamate means this x-ray is beyond three months of life but you are not seeing the secondary ossification center or the epiphysis for the lower end of the radius which is not there in this diagram i have made it just to explain it otherwise it was not there so that means this x-ray is of less than one year of age now you focus upon this x-ray this again is an X-ray of a child. Now tell the age of this child in this X-ray. Is this less than one year? Is this more than one year? Is this more than two years? Is this more than three years? Now in this x-ray, you are seeing the appearance of these two carpal bones. You know them. And you are also seeing is the epiphysis at the lower end of the radius, which you are not seeing below to the ulna. And the appearance of these ossification centers, this for capitate was two months, for hamate it was three months, and for the lower end of the radius, it was one year. So with this, what will you guess the answer? Obviously, it will be more than one year. But you are not seeing triquitral. That means it's less than three years.
so why not more than 2 years how can we avoid this c choice for that you need to know a little more about the epiphyses you seeing in this image can you appreciate the epiphyses for these metacarpals towards the head end these metacarpals the epiphyses appear towards the head end in case of second third fourth and fifth metacarpal but remember that the secondary ossification center for the first metacarpal appears at its base and the secondary ossification centers for these metacarpals they appear at 1.5 to 2.5 years of life means they also have a range for appearing between 1.5 to 2.5 years can you appreciate the secondary ossification centers at the lower end or the base of phalanges also in this image here you can see small flat little platelets present below to the base of these phalanges not only in the proximal but also in the middle and the terminal phalanges there also you can appreciate that these small little pellets which are actually the secondary ossification centers the epiphyses which only appear at one end of a miniature long bone remember these metacarpals metatarsals and phalanges they are called miniature long bones they have the same three parts upper end or the head shaft and base or the lower end same as a long bone but the only difference is that in a long bone there is one primary center of ossification in the center of the diaphysis and there are two secondary ossification centers minimum at least two ossification centers at the upper end and the lower end but these miniature long bones one primary center in the diaphysis and only one secondary ossification center either towards the head end or towards the base so metacarpals 2 3 4 and 5 they have this secondary ossification centers that appears towards the head end but phalanges and the first metacarpal or the metatarsal their secondary ossification centers appears towards the base and you know it's only one ossification secondary ossification center that appears in a miniature long bone so these secondary ossification centers for the phalanges they appear between 2 to 4 years of life i hope it's visible So now, after seeing and studying about these ossification centers, remember because I am mentioning all the ossification centers in the same image, you can remember that the secondary ossification center, which has not been shown in this image, that's the lower end of the ulna, that appears at around five years of life. This was not shown in the image. Now, after this, concluding, you get to know that. this x-ray because of presence of capitate hamate lower end of radius and the epiphyses of metacarpals and phalanges is also there that means this x-ray is of a child who is more than 2 years of life but less than 3 years because there is no triquitral bone or there is no other carpal bone except these two so the answer here will be that this child is of more than 2 years of life